Welcome back. So in this video, I'll show you how to add a sound source and music to your game. So what we want to do first is add a sound source. So if you click on the little plus sign next to workspace and you scroll down, there is a sound source down here somewhere. There's so many things you can add to this. Oh, here we go. Sound all the way near the bottom. Okay, now if you click on the sound, um, there's a few settings you need to turn on. So looped, you want to turn that on so that it keeps playing, and you want to put the playing checkbox on so that it so that it um, so that it plays. The other thing is the volume. It, unless you want to drive people crazy, you probably want to put this pretty low. So I would suggest like a point two maybe. And then we need to find a music file. So the toolbox has a ton of audio. So if you click on the marketplace and then on audio, there are just, I don't even know how many audio files are in this thing, but I like lo-fi. I listen to lo-fi quite a bit. Um, so I'm just going to find a nice lo-fi song. And usually the one I get is lo-fi. Let me see, like lo-fi classical or lo-fi, which one is it? And this lets you uh, kind of um, preview the sounds. So let's see if I can find a nice one. Lo-Fi Spring, I've never seen that one. Let's try that one. Yeah, it's kind of nice, kind of nature. Uh, let's see, best lo-fi, I don't even know. <laughs> no, no, let's not do that. So a lot of these, some of these are really annoying. Uh, fresh lo-fi, no, uh, which is the one I use? Lo-Fi House, Deep House. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of these would drive your players crazy. Definitely find something not annoying. Lo-fi. Oh, I guess I can't find it. You know, these seem to change every time I open this. There's like different... Um, oh, here we go. Chill lo-fi mix. That should be something I like. If it plays. Hmm. I guess not. Let's try it. Oh, wow. If you click it, it actually inserted it into the lo-fi sound ID. I didn't even know it would do that. Um, but I do not want that. Oh, it, you know what it did? It actually inserted it over here. Hold on, let me control Z this. Oh, okay, I see what it did. Yeah, <laughs> let me turn that off. Okay, so what it did is I, I actually accidentally did not hit the little uh, play button. I hit like somewhere else and it inserted it under my sound um, part here in the Explorer window. So be careful about that. But let me just find something not incredibly annoying because we're gonna have to listen to this for a while. I will turn the, the volume down though. Uh, snowfall maybe, let's see, that sounds like it wouldn't be too bad. That's not bad. Actually, I think this relaxing lo-fi is one that I've used before, let me see. No. I might just give up. Dreaming, let's see if dreaming is not too bad. Do not know what that was. Sweet dreams, maybe? Maybe not. Lo-fi jazz, let's see if lo-fi jazz is any good. Okay, that's not bad. I, I, could, I could live with that. So now that I found a song that is not too annoying, I click on the little plus sign and the little circle with three dots and I copy the asset ID and I go over to my sound and here in sound, where is it? Sound, sound ID, I just copy paste or paste it. Okay, now I hit enter and I can preview it here, make sure that it works and it does. Okay, good, good, good. And I'm hoping, I hope these come out in the in the video I'm recording here. Um, I forgot if I turned on computer audio for this. Okay, so that is sound. And now whenever you play your game, you should hear it. And hopefully that you can hear that. And you can see my nice sky, my big, huge sun, and my cobblestone floor. <laughs> so anyway, the beginnings of a nice game. All right, so finally in the next video, we will start getting into the toolbox and all the millions of things that you can find in there. So I'll see you then.